if you uh, want to know the specifics of the uh, inverse square law of light, basically if you double the distance of the light from your subject, you'll quarter the power and so on and so on. We'll bring up a little diagram at the end to uh, show you that a little bit further. But that's basically it. The light further away, a more consistent exposure between two objects that are side by side, the light a lot closer, and then a difference in exposure between the two objects side by side. Hopefully that camera and this camera helped you understand that. Thank you very much, Sophie. Let's see you next time. We're back, because I forgot to tell you something. The other reason this is really important to photographers is because the distance of your light from your model can also affect dramatically the exposure of your model in relation to the exposure of your background. So if you're just using one light and you're not using any lights on your background, or even if you are using lights on your background, this will still happen. And basically I want to demonstrate that to you as well, because it's the same principle, it's to do with the inverse square law of light. So I'm going to take a picture of Sophie with this single softbox and we will get the exposure correct on Sophie in this position and this is a f4 taking the shot there she's correctly exposed and we will see how bright the uh, we'll bring this up on screen for you in a second you can see the brightness of the background now if we bring this softbox in really close now and keep going in, keep going in, stop there. And now I will get the exposure correct for Sophie at this distance, which happens to be F9. And I'll take the shot again, and we'll see that the background is now much darker grey because of the inverse square law. So we've got there where Sophie's correct and the background's much lighter, there where Sophie's correct and the background is much darker. And that is all to do with the inverse square of law. Did you get that? Good. There we go. We've all learned something today. Fantastic. Thanks very much. We'll see you next time. So in this first graphic, you can see the distance represented as R. And if we double R, double the distance, you can see quarter of the power of light uh, hitting our subject. The next graphic is more important to photographers this graphic represents the light intensity. So if we look at the distance at the bottom there in one to two meters where our model is positioned, you can see the change in light percentage power varies very dramatically over that short distance when our model is close to the light source. But as we move to the six, seven, eight meter mark, the difference in percentage of the intensity of light is much, much closer. It's a much, much reduced difference. Yes, the light is less powerful, but the difference in the value of the light at those greater distances is much, much closer, as we hopefully demonstrated in this video.